Previously on Ghost 1.0. Well, this stuff must be doing something important. If we can stop the flow, we can figure out its purpose by observing any changes. Houston, the valve is closed. Good job. There has to be more rooms like this one. Find them and close their valves. Boss, we have a problem. Our agency will fly. If I eat, and if I 12, are behaving strangely. They are asking odd questions to our customers. Damn them too. Something's going wrong in Nakamura. What is she doing? I don't know, man. She just stopped. Maybe she noticed something. And now the outcome. Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're on a hunt for valves. Come along, boys. Where was I actually going? Ah, down here, apparently. No. Glad for this interstitial screen, because it should probably give me enough time to... Hmm, maybe not. Ah, well, close enough. Let me see. Lasers to the left of me, death to the right. Why did I think up? Oh, God! Yes, now I remember, yeah. Nope. Stay away. Watching you. Well, that's interesting. You know, let's see the saw just pop right in there. No, it was a laser button. Laser is yes, no. Don't oh, piss off. <laughs> and I collect my two pounds. remember if I ever explained it or not. Piss, the save room is one where I just came from. I figure clearing out all that shit would be a pain in the ass if I lost uh, everything right now. It's always been the question I ask when I uh, wonder whether or not to go back to uh, the save room. How much of a pain in the ass would it be if I had to redo everything I've done since the save room and right now? Or between, I guess I should have said. Yeah. Huh. And now this... Oh wait, I actually didn't check out what was on that side. I just cleared out all the security. I'm making things harder on myself for no reason. <laughs> Ah! Okay, I forgot about that. That's a really shitty place to put that. By which I mean, well done. hits than I was expecting. Yeah, the reason I keep going, yeah, when I do this... ...is because that sound effect, uh... Just a moment. Uh, 500 extra energy cubes. Nice! Apparently I did go in here, but hey, I got the thing, so that's nice. That sound effect that plays and you collect all the souls in a given room. Uh, it reminds me, most recently, of uh, the DLC chapters for The Evil Within, uh, The Assignment and The Consequence. 
It's only been a few weeks, and I've already had to. I already had to think about what the things were called. Oh fuck this! Why is it moving? It reminds me of the sound that played when you've, uh... Oh god, I have to explain this, don't I? Because someone could have just clicked on Ghost 1.0 without having watched The Evil Within. Uh... Okay, it's not going to sweep over me while I'm not paying attention. Great. I'm going to stand back here just in case. In fact... So one of the collectibles was, uh, in those two DLC chapters, not in the main game, was Snails. Because the developer's logo is a snail, you see. And, uh... I swear I'm not making this up. Okay, there are souls in here somewhere. You shine the flashlight on the, uh, on the snails. And you hold the beam there, and, uh, <laughs> the snail starts making, uh, how do I put this delicately? It starts making noises of female pleasure. There, I said it. But then, uh, when you finish doing this, the snail transforms into a trophy of a snail, which is the actual collectible you need to pick up. And when it does, you hear a man's voice just go, Yeah! <laughs> Turns out I was mistaken. It actually goes like this. So I guess I don't know where yeah came from. Embarrassing. Uh, back to ghost. <laughs> and I'm just gonna want maximum mobility for this. You guys take five. Damn it! Hmm. I do find that very. Is there like something I'm missing here? No, there aren't any extra buttons to like designate this one the start zone. Don't mind me, just looking for uh, directions I've missed. Eh. Oh, right, yeah. Get on it first. gonna take tight timing. I'm not actually sure I can do this from this specific spot. Ooh. Well, who didn't see that coming? What the hell did he hit me with? Oh, 
600. I was like, isn't that just 500 again? Your robot is printed including 500 extra energy cubes. Oh! Well, that's a little bit helpful. Screw it. I'm just going to go up and uh, give myself the full works. I really need to find that recharge. Oh, God! What the hell? Take that, lasers! You would think that the, uh... That the, you know, deactivating the security in a given room would require clearance or something. I don't know, maybe the key cards are enough. Wrong button? I don't know why I thought that would work. I swear the trick is to get yourself up there, but I can't fly, and that guy couldn't jump far enough. Ooh, almost. Aha! Maybe I can fly. I got it. Strengthening the components of the robot, HP max is increased by 70. Mmm. Delicious. Boss, I have the information you requested. Ah, good. What the hell is happening in Nakamura? There is an intruder in their space station. Defenses have been ineffective, and the intruder is now altering the composition of the biofluid. The fluid? That's why our agents are starting to dispute. Shadow. Sneak into Nakamura's space station and find that intruder. I want to know who it is and who they work for. Consider it done, boss. I don't mean to make fun or anything, but I got a real strong uh, English as a second language vibe from that specific cutscene. Right on, yeah, uh, oh, right, yeah, it has a bunch of guns and shit in it. Okay, yeah, I should probably get that. But I can't afford literally anything here, so fuck you! You're not being a dick about it or anything, it's just the vibe I got. Eltering the, uh... Don't need to go in here anyway, because it's uh, much faster to teleport to the other spots anyway. Eltering the composition... Composition? I don't know how he said it. Of the uh, biofluid. I wonder what... You know, the, the line about see who he works for amused me. Because I don't think what he had in mind was working for two schlubs in what appears to be a garage office somewhere. Um... Oh, it's not a store, that's a, just a door. Leads off in this direction where I don't apparently need to go. Hmm. That would have been really convenient, wouldn't it? I wonder.
very curious about the room that apparently involves the start menu to unlock the souls. Damn it, I was really hoping there was another dude I could bring down there. I can't possess whatever that is for some reason. I wonder what that would be. Is it, like, remotely controlled? Is it... too primitive for her to possess? I mean, she can't become the elevator or the door and just open it. I mean, usually in such fiction, uh, the simpler a machine is, the easier it is to uh, take control of. Nice. No souls in here, so I'm just gonna fuck off in this direction. No, I can make it... Yes, that's right, I remember that. I checked that for, uh... I was gonna say, I checked that for clues. What? Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, fuck it. I think that laser was going up. I'm an idiot. Oh, shit. Oh, right, I did check that, didn't I? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention properly, was I? Hmm. Boy, that was dumb. Hmm. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Ah, damn it. I did not mean to push that button, you guys. I, sometimes I push the wrong button. This time I just... didn't mean to do that. Finger slipped as I was trying to, uh... Ah, fuck it. Up we go! That 3D printing budget is going to go through the ceiling, man. Oh, right. That, I was just wondering what happens if you do that. Like, oh, you do leave the screen. But then I remembered I haven't screwed myself. Because I was trying to do that. I was uh, trying to see if it was possible to do that. But then I remembered you can just press R. Like I, 
popped out anyway. What an asshole. Okay, here's a jump cut in case I screw it up yet again. Ugh, overthought the whole damn thing. Huh. That's weird. Satisfying. We'll find out what these souls create, and what happens when I push this button on the next episode of Let's Play Ghost 1.0, because the timer has gone. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you then. Later!